They were saying you were living out of a suitcase because you were working back to back all over the globe, yeah? Or, yeah. So I, I, I moved out here five years ago, had a, a place for a couple of years, and then I was going to go on the road for two years back to back. So I ended up moving my, my furniture into storage and then just had a suitcase and for two years didn't live anywhere. Really. Some exciting destinations? I was very, very lucky because sometimes you can end up in, uh, in, on location somewhere that, you know, for five months and it's kind of... Not as desirable. Not the most desirable place, right. but I got to shoot in just incredible cities. I was in Berlin for a couple of months and Madrid and London and Montreal. Oh. And then a couple of months in Alberta, up in the woods, which was All the incredible. Hits. Yeah, great, yeah, gorgeous. Yeah, it was. It was. Uh, I, I, I was very lucky there. But so, how do you pack? Like, you have one suitcase. How do you pack for all those clothes? What do you put? <laughs> this is a fashion. Just my I hair mean, dryer. Like, this is gonna get pragmatic on you right now. A yeah, massive I, hair dryer. I want to know what do you pack in a suitcase if you only have one suitcase and you're traveling around the world? What would we find? in Alexander Skarsgård's suitcase. Well, that, and that, the, the key was one suitcase. I promised myself when I embarked on this adventure around the globe to not accumulate stuff. I was like, I'm gonna keep it to one suitcase because I don't want to like lug around three or four. Like So um, it, is, it was kind of what would fit in that suitcase and it was like the bare essentials basically. Wow. And what's interesting after a while is <clears throat> you kind of, it makes you think about consumption in a new way because we obviously, we live in a society where we just consume, 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 and um, and for two years, if I wanted to buy something, I had to get rid of something. It was kind mm -hmm. of a one-in, one-out policy. So if I have, found some, a pair of shoes, I was like, oh, then I have to retire my old pairs. Have you seen the TV show Hoarders? I've, I'm familiar with the show, yes. Uh, you have the opposite of that. I think you You're found the cure for hoarding. Right. Like, if you could teach that, I went, maybe it I went could to cure. the extreme. I wasn't a hoarder before. I've always liked to get rid of stuff. Um, including uh, people in my life, relationships. I, yeah. So, right. <laughs> that's why I'm so desperately alone. Right, right. Um, <laughs> same, yeah. same, same, same. We're yeah. same. So you're traveling Just the world. Vacuous darkness in my heart. <laughs> uh, what was I talking about? No, no, no. <laughs> this, uh, Loneliness. Go, go, yeah, uh, Loneliness. Loneliness and the despair of my life. Of, no, I, I got it, I got it, right, I got yeah. it. It was about, this was taking it to the extreme of, of uh, in the opposite direction, being a hoarder of, of um, yeah, but it just makes you realize it's, it's, you don't need that much clothes stuff and stuff and survive. stuff. So yeah. when I finally got, I got a place again, so I'm, you know, I have a home now, um, but I did shed a lot of old stuff before I moved back into the apartment, so. I